What's up, National Tinder Navigators? Today we're gonna be talking about Black Ops 4 Pass. I mean, everyone is talking about it, so why the fuck not? I got some opinions, I jotted five points down on my notepad, and I wanna actually talk about it real quick, and then I will actually provide my opinion and a solution, because I genuinely feel like free DLC is not the answer, folks. Trust me when I say this. Free DLC equal bullshit amount of card points, propaganda, G Fuel Drinker would be opening that shit all day in Black Ops 4, so trust me when I say this, free DLC is not the answer, and I will actually provide a solution that I feel like is best for everyone out there, and basically let's just get right into it, and keep in mind in the words of Boogie2988, this is just one man opinion, so if you don't agree with anything I say, definitely let me know your opinions in the comments below, and hey if you are new definitely make sure to subscribe, we're gonna be covering Black Ops 4 all year long, and I'm running a giveaway too, not giving away V-Bucks, uh, but if you're into Black Ops 4 Digital Deluxe, sort of giveaway I will have a link in the comments or in the description below so if you're into it check it out but number one the battlefield 5 comparison and a lot of people would argue hey let's not compare but in my opinion comparison and competition is absolutely necessary in everything so battlefield 5 will have free DLC but they got deluxe edition and I personally feel like that's the greatest deal of all time and I would say this man if Call of Duty adapted to that it would be naughty it would be fire trust me Black Ops 4 would would sell like hotcakes because the amount of Call of Duty YouTubers there are, they would obviously get the Digital Deluxe Edition because check this out, Battlefield 5 Deluxe Edition will give you the game three days early, plus it will have five sets of paratrooper gear, special assignments, and 20 weekly items with airlift. So right off the bat, this tells me that this is gonna have free DLC, no loot boxes like they confirm, but I cannot see them having everything for free. I really feel like later down the road, like we're gonna be able to buy stuff and there will be more stuff. Like special assignments, I believe assignments were DLC things back in the days for Battlefield 3, uh, but I feel like this time everything will be for free, but I will tell you why I don't see Battlefield 5 having everything for free. I feel like there are going to be skins and I feel like everyone will be alright with uh, paying for skins in Battlefield 5 but the last time I checked people are bitching about that shit because they do not want female soldiers and I, I do not get it man you're getting free content but people will still complain about that so that tells us that you cannot please everyone in this day and age. I mean damn son you're getting free content but you're still gonna complain but hey let's not stretch that part. Number two we're getting zombies in Black Ops 4 we're getting three zombie maps at launch but the fourth one will be the season pass bonus like they always have done this countless amount of times and zombie maps requires voice actors real actors and other stuff and track zombies is always deep and I absolutely love track zombies and I'm a little bit biased towards zombies and the thing that I've been seeing quite a lot is that everyone and myself included I personally am okay for paying for zombies because I know the quality is there when it comes to track zombies and whenever I see quality I'm like I'm a simple man I'll pay for it for example you go into the restaurant if the service is good you tip the the waiter or the waitress so I'm kind of like applying the same thing but the problem is at our number three spot Call of Duty points are back now I'm not sure how good or bad they are gonna be well we can imagine they can be really bad because Black Ops 3 was uh, really really bad that's kind of like what I heard but I was more in the zombie scene so I wasn't really uh, looking for multiplayer COD points but in Black Ops 3 we had Liquid Dwiniums and I love that system because the more you grind the more Liquid Dwinium you get and it wasn't kind of like pay to win I mean to some extent it was but you could still grind for Liquid Dwinium and I believe I have bought uh, some Liquid Dwinium so I kind of feel bad I mean somebody spray me down real quick but I feel like this time Liquid Divinium will be back but Trek really balanced the Liquid Divinium in zombies in my opinion because I haven't really purchased that much but still Call of Duty points are back Liquid Divinium can be back in Black Ops 4 zombies so that's kind of like a shitty thing knowing the fact that we still are uh, we're, we're still getting season pass but I will actually provide a solution so I'm just going on everything we know so far so we can actually talk about it in depth right but at our number four season pass only got 12 maps instead of 16 now normally you get four dlcs and that will have 16 maps and we know from treyarch and activision that this year we're gonna have free dlcs and we're gonna have stuff that will be in season pass and that will be uh updated or basically those 12 multiplayer maps will be brought to black ops 4 more frequently and we're assuming that 12 maps equal 12 months or basically 12 maps uh, is going to be a thing where every single month we're going to get one new map and also they confirmed that we're gonna have free dlcs for example 
example, we heard that Nuketown will not come out with the game, but it will be available for everyone for free, I believe, later down the road in November. So we can all speculate that in November, we're gonna get the Nuketown map, then December, we're gonna get a paid map from the season pass, and January could be a zombie map, then uh, February can be another free multiplayer map, and then March, we get the paid map. So basically, in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say here is that 12 maps from season pass is going to be a thing where it's going to be not every single month but it's gonna be more of like one month you get a map for free the second month you get a map that is paid and then you get another free map another free map then a paid map basically at the end i feel like this season pass will cover us for around two to three years that's kind of like my guess but obviously it's a speculation so that's kind of like the thing that i personally believe in but then at our number five spot we got the blackout skins in the season pass so that kind of tells us that maybe yes it's just like a bonus thing to do but what if this season pass will have more blackout skins and i'm not sure if blackout skins are like uh or character skins or weapon skins because they confirmed that blackout will be first person mode but i can really feel like they are going to have a first person mode but you can actually interchange or you can change between first person and third person mode and if they got third person well you can bet your asses we're gonna have skins like fortnite but now that i got all of these points i really feel like season pass should go away i mean this is a old model we need a new model this is just not good for the game overall it's obviously not good for the consumers but it's also not good for activision because the more they milk this cash cow the milk will run out one day but i feel like season pass needs to absolutely go but here's the solution if we have a season pass it should give us everything for example the weapons it should also have no cod points maybe it should have cod points but those are more of like in-game stuff where you grind and you get the cod points and they are not purchasable if you know what i'm saying so that should be in to maximize the fun and everything right so you can grind a little bit more and you can actually be rewarded with more stuff but season pass once you buy that it should give you all the dlc maps for multiplayer for zombies for battle royale ev basically everything is included in that and you do not have to pay extra money for anything other than that but there's another solution and i feel like that can be good in the beginning but overall it's not gonna be good but before i get on that i also do want to drive this point home is that if you get everything for free i can guarantee it that developers will push out less and less content and less quality content over time maybe we're gonna have dlc1 that may be the greatest of all time but then comes dlc2 and it may not be that quality because as humans when we see we're pushing out something and we're not getting rewarded we're going to be burned out and we're gonna just push less and less stuff and we're gonna push out less quality stuff same goes for the youtubers same goes for anything it's like you work at mcdonald's you see someone doing the same thing as you but he's getting like 15 bucks while you're there getting finesse and getting dicked on and getting 10 bucks per hours right so you definitely want to be getting 15 bucks so what i'm saying here is that free content may be good in the beginning but it's going to get really really bad i mean think about this right playstation 3 multiplayer it was for free i loved it because i used to have ps3 but we had to wait for dlcs plus the word net for got hacked that was uh, actually retarded that was actually embarrassing for the sony ponies out there and a lot of people actually quit playstation and they went to xbox and they were super happy for paying for the service because they were finding it quality so people are okay to pay if they find something quality but the second solution is that free dlc and trust me i personally do not agree with this but i'll still actually provide this because this is gonna be a criticism sort of video but free dlc and everything is free but there are cod points like how we got v bucks in fortnite to buy weapons in call of duty to buy skins to buy uh like liquid venom and zombies to buy all of the bullshit stuff so that's something i mean in the beginning it will look really good but then later down the road it will not be good trust me when i say this even for battle for five i just cannot see them having free dlc if they got free dlc i mean the first one can be great but later on if they do not have something to sell overall they are going to push out less and less content and it would be less quality i can guarantee it 
If they got skins that they are going to sell in Battle for 5, then obviously it's justified they will try to actually put out more skins so they can be compensated and then they will have DLCs that will be free. And I feel like that's kind of like the greatest model. Or another solution is that have everything for free in the game. We got weapons for free and everything, but in Battle Royale mode, we got skins and we got maybe even character skins. But like I said, we're not sure if we're gonna have a third person mode in Blackout or not. So maybe we're gonna have less skins in blackout so i'm not sure man this is just one man's opinion i feel like season pass should give you everything if it's here to stay and obviously it's uh ba basically a lot of people have already paid for season pass so if we get a refund are we gonna get a refund in v bucks or i mean are we gonna get the refund in call of duty points i do not know man uh we're really really far away and i hope that next year season pass absolutely goes away and even this year man there should be some changes, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below, check out some other videos in the meantime on the screen, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you very freaking soon.